with Curb, would you pitch stuff? Would you pitch plots? Would you pitch like we should talk about this? Oh, I'll because there's shit where oh, I'm oh, like, there's ideas. no fucking way Larry wrote. I'm I'm lamping. What are you doing? I'm fucking lamping. What you doing? You lamping? No. There's all, no way. All that, all that the show is so. It's like Larry is underhand pitching everybody, including right. myself. It's literally effortless once you know what it is. You know what? I always use this analogy about the golf swing. Mm-hmm. Once you know what makes what tickles that motherfucker, right? I know how to tickle that motherfucker. Right. You know, I don't even gotta touch him. I know what tickles yeah. that motherfucker. I know when his face changes. I know when I got him. Yeah. And what kicks in then? Stand up sensibility. Yeah, exactly. We know when we got What's funny is because I you, I ideas. can watching it, I know when you tickled him. Yeah. And then cut when they cut back to you, I know that you have mm. you know you have him. I, I, I do like the, lamping. I do this I, I, I'll fucking do some shit like this. Yep. And I'm giving it to him and I know I got his ass on his heels. Yes. And, and what do we do? Comedians, we have great intentions for people, but we have weird intentions. Mm-hmm. In my brain, I'm thinking like, man, if I can make a snot bubble come out this motherfucker's yeah. nose, one of the funniest motherfuckers I know. Yeah. I know I'm going, I'm on my way to doing some amazing shit because yeah. I can make this motherfucker laugh every time. And it also opens up you get a laugh on yeah. Lampin, and then he goes, Lampin? What the fuck? And then man? you go, oh, I know five fucking beats I can do on this I know right five now. five beats I can do on that shit right now because that is, that's the power of improv, you know? You're in the moment. You're really in the moment for real. Right. You know, it, it's when you, you can't even overthink it if you know the rules of the game and you know what the show is already. So my thing is this, man. You know, I go as far as I can go. I think of the most outlandish. But shit was there to prep? Say. Did you prep that? No, there's no fucking prep. So we the writing shit down every day is a separate thing. It's a separate thing. All right. So it, there is no dialogue. It's just the outline of what the episode is. Right. Everything else is off the off the fucking dome, which means that all he got to do is put me in a position. To say some crazy shit. Like even the thing where you guys are arguing over what temperature to have inside. You motherfucking man, Larry, but 72, shit. I'm going to sleep outside. Okay. I'm 82 man myself. When I saw it, I couldn't believe it. It's the funniest, easiest shit ever. He has a way of tapping into the human, um, the things that bug people. Yeah, everyone. He, had, he just fucking knows it. Yeah. And Larry's another guy who writes shit down every day. Yeah. But he just knows these buttons that people... Yeah press with each other which means that everything's relatable yes when he starts and so he show. goes well black people like it's 79 white people like it's 70 right i want to sleep in 68 degree temperature she wants to sleep in 75 degrees let's compromise at 72 oh no fuck that larry so he can do the white argue he knows why he, he wants it why 70 he wants it and he 70? can automatically go to why you would want it 79 why would you want it 79 <laughs> 82 my shit. 82, <laughs> was it 82? Yeah, I always forget. 82 my shit. Yeah. My Felt wife told like... me I was going to be on Kirby Enthusiasm. She told me I was going to be on the show. She How? said, I see it. I can see you and Larry together. So you do crazy stuff all the time. This show is crazy. You fucking- What season sit, did you, you start? You sitting on the couch watching this show every Sunday. Season three? I came in six. Wow. So she said, you're going to- I said, I love this goddamn show so much. I would love to be on it one day. She said- you're going to be on that show one day. She said, I see it. I see you and Larry together. She said, you are, you you do the craziest stuff and you're not afraid to commit to And did you things. audition? Yeah, audition. Yeah. So, and it was like- Everything, in, but we talked about the order of things. Were you calm? No. I was the cockiest motherfucking JB Smooth you ever, just as, as cocky as I am. Because here's what I believe. Number one, everything had to happen in order. If one thing is out of order, it changes everything. I would never have been in front of Larry right. David. You know? Yeah. SNL, three seasons, fourth season, didn't get renewed. Right? But I knew I wasn't going to get renewed. See, I go back to this shit. If you don't believe in fucking you, you don't have movement. And therefore, you lose your patience because you want everybody to do shit for you. I knew when I fired my agent, I wasn't going to go back to SNL. I said, there's no fucking way. I have nobody to speak up for me. You need an agent to speak up for you, especially when they got other clients on the right. show. They got to be able to bring up 
JB Smooth and say, we need JB one more season. Or at least let's keep JB on. Yeah. You know? Someone got to speak up for you. You fire your fucking agent. Guess what happens? That motherfucker don't speak up for you. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. He, it they don't couldn't, matter. You, you weren't doing I, I anything. I knew. Anyway. I said, I know what's going to happen. I said, I can't take it no longer. I got to get rid of this motherfucker. He's fucking up my flow. I fired his ass, and I knew. I said, I just waited for the fucking shit to hit the fan. I said, I know I'm not going back. There's no fucking way. Who going to speak up for me? Unless they love me that much right. to bring me back for the fourth season yeah. of SNL. You gotta, if you don't fucking in your heart believe who the fuck you are, you panic. Right. You say, oh, oh shit. Yeah. How am I pay my fucking bills? How am I gonna do this? How By the way, that? I know plenty of people that felt that way. You got Chris, to, I know you Chris felt move. that way. I've known points when when Chappelle felt that way. I like where you're like, fuck, fuck, fuck. You but all right, so you're you're you feel like I felt you that way to, a million times. You I to, finally but, don't think I ever will again. But yeah. But you know, what you do, you know how hard you work, yeah. right? It's just gonna be replaced with something else. It's going to be replaced with something else. And here's another thing. Good people get good things. You know, Bad people do too. They do, but in a different form. Bad people get shit sometimes short term mm -hmm. until they realize this motherfucker ain't shit. Right. People who oh, who, if you're and, good at the job, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you're but, good, you'll but get. You yeah, you gotta plant seeds with yeah. people. Yeah, you gotta. You have to build relationships with people long term. Yeah, and that's what the fuck I did. And like I said, being patient is a thing that you have to completely concentrate on all the time because you have to know that that move you just made, that chess move you made, is going to make sense later. What was the cocky? How cocky were you with Larry? How did you? I went in there as my. I went. I got it. Here's what I do when I go on auditions like that. I go in there as the character. Right. I went in there like they knew me already. I came in there as a character because I know I'm showing you the mannerisms. I'm showing you how the person walks, how they talk, all at the same time. Do rag? Huh? Did you have a do rag? No, no do rag. I just knew. I knew the mannerisms. You know what I mean? I knew how this guy could work for the show and. Having been someone who watched the show, Ari, and someone who took improv in, in fucking 1989 at the fucking old improv I'm comedy just club. At how old we are. I know yeah. we're older than the motherfucker. Yeah. That improv comedy club on 44th and yeah. 9th, I took yeah. the improv class there. And guess what happened? After I took that class, that summer class, the club closed down. That was it. That was the I was supposed to yeah. make it in there before that improv class went away. Right. You understand? Yeah. So all this, the order of things started in 89. Mm -hmm. No, before that. Order of things happened when I quit that fucking job and I had a newborn. Well, the order is 89 and then your daughter's born in 94. I'm just saying, the order yeah, yeah, of yeah. things, 93. 93. 93, okay. The order of things happens. I had to get that improv class in. Yeah. Right? I had to see what the animal was. Right? Mm -hmm. Then I had to realize that I got to get the fuck out of this job. I got to get the fuck out of here too. There's a line in the Quran, got to get the fuck out of book, there. Yeah. Uh, some of the effect of the hoarding, the hoarding of money is the act of a faithless man. Mm -hmm. Right? There's something about like just doing stuff to do it that's the act of a faithless man mm -hmm. like and and not being patient things got to be calculated but in order for them to be calculated you got to believe in what the fuck you do yeah. in particular and that's why i bring up the improv class because without that improv class that little tool right goes in my toolbox mm -hmm. until 2000 but that allowed me to perform in that manner i've always performed in the moment I never know how I'm going to end a joke. Even today, I don't know because I'm really performing for the moment for people. Whatever the fuck they're laughing at, I give them more of that. Yeah. I don't, I'm not, a, I'm a terrible robot. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.